Hello, my name is Christopher Bennett um, with Oscar Into Contracting. We are the general contractors on site here to perform the rehabilitation project for the Romeo Arm Interceptor. This has been some ongoing projects uh, in the area since the 1970s. There has been three sewer collapses in the immediate area. We subcontract out these things, and one reason being the overhead power lines. Uh, the overhead power lines, we're looking at 345 kVA, which are some very high powered power lines. And that's where we contracted Snobble to come out and install the C compile shaft. And my name is Walter Trail. I'm the equipment manager for Schnabel Foundation Company. And Michael Grimm, superintendent for Schnabel Foundation Company. Our project is to drill a circular seeking shaft starting 40 foot below grade, going down to a 10 foot diameter sewer line. They want to reline. Uh, we'll be here just for the final assembly of the rig to get it up and running, and we'll be back to help disassemble the rig. With our overhead restrictions that we have, we had to break everything down smaller than what we normally would. On a typical job, we may have power lines next to us, but we don't have them directly overhead, so we can just assemble the rig at ground level, horizontal, and stand the mast up. In this job, we have to assemble it in the vertical position. Our mast length is approximately 80 feet long. We're inside of a 45-foot diameter shaft. It doesn't quite fit. Our first step was to lower the base machine in. Basically, uh, we connect it to the lower base of the machine to lower it into the shaft with the, uh, with the support of a 400 ton crane. Just to keep the machine steady, keep it from spinning, swinging, you know, out of the way, we attach four tag lines to it, one at each corner, just to have guys up top steady it, keep it a controlled load. After the base machine was down, we rigged up the lower mast section. On a standard job, the base machine would have came in with the lower mast section already attached. We had to work for several weeks with the manufacturer. We, we did a test pick with it at our equipment yard prior to it coming here. We had to change up a few things just based on manufacturer's recommendation. So when we got here, we still had a little bit of trial and error. Our initial plan coming into this was we were going to lift the mat at ground level, get it on the angle we needed to constraints of the power lines, not being able to get our boom bite tall enough. We had to change up our game plan, figured out we had enough room to get it into the hole flat, so we lowered it down, re-rigged it, and then picked it up on our angle in the hole. So we had a, just a specific group of people in the hole consisting of the operator, a couple of mechanics from Schnabel Equipment, and one of the field employees from Schnabel. We installed the lower mast section and got our backstay cylinders connected. Counterweight's top mast section were fairly easy coming into this project. We figured our challenges were going to be the base machine and the lower mast. The other pieces are pretty standard. So we had a man lift there to make the top pin connection. It's a little more stable than having guys work out of a man basket which would be held by the crane. There's uh, definitely as many people from different areas of Schnabel, but, but we all come together to make the adjustments that we need to make, do the pre-planning that we need to do. It's a large group effort on everyone's part. This is a company that uh, is all about doing something specialized that no one else can do. And as you can see, what we're doing here today is definitely proof of that. They performed exactly to our expectations. Uh, we're, we're very happy with Snobble and the work that they perform. Any day that everybody goes home the way they came in in a safe manner and follow all the protocols, you know, is a, is a good day.